that fish I'm looking at. That's big, man. <laughs> Did you just see the explosion in the water? Man, the snapper fishing is good. <laughs> the lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants. Guess what time it is? Yep, it's lateral line fishing mission time. <laughs> the boys had a very relaxed start to the day. We didn't leave Cowtown in Morrinsville until well after daylight. And this time round we are charging east, feeling a little bit freer at the moment by the day. So we are venturing further and further away from home. There were a few unforeseen stops along the way because there were just kawaii and birds working up along the coast as we were driving down. And we thought we'd better go and investigate. Leland managed to pull out a couple of little kawaii but the bigger fish that we could see splashing were just that little bit out of casting range and then uh, we got back on the road and then we were driving past a spot that we've fished before and want to fish again so it was like is it worth taking a stick bait rod and a soft bait rod down there and just having a quick cast and kind of test the waters so yes we did exactly that Milan cast a little soft bait around and then cast a stick bait around and then while he was casting a stick bait around I cast a soft bait around and turned up nothing so we had something quick to eat and then uh, got back on the road once again. So now we are in the boat and fishing out of the boat. It was only a really, really quick run out to our fishing grounds today. Milan's already put in a ton of casts and even turned up a small kingfish. But where we were fishing to start with, it was just lots and lots of small kingfish and to be honest, catching small fish, they just get a little bit painful to deal with. So we drove away from those fish, as crazy as it sounds. These rocks at the end of the peninsula are always worth a look. So Milan's already had a quick cast around here, turned up nothing. I am expecting some big fish on this one. We've got three days, the next three days here. If we do well out of the boat in the next couple of days, then we'll try a land-based mission. We know of a couple of good land based spots around here, but for now, we are on board Sojin doing our very best. Well, at least Meanland is doing his very best to hook a fish. We want something for dinner as always, and any big fish is always welcome. Bring it on. Well, the sun's still high in the sky, and when the sun's high in the sky, the kingies aren't really eating on stick baits that much. And the sun's came out and it was nice and overcast when we first got here. So we're going to pump a leisurely burly trail down into the rocks and hopefully that's going to produce some big snapper. Uh, it's only our first day so we don't really know but we're going to do some experimental stuff. And then tonight we're going to go stick baiting. But it looks pretty good. First dead bait going out. Big school of Mau Mau behind the boat. Hopefully it's got some big snapper swimming with it. The burley's pumping straight back and through that gap right there. <laughs> Sick man. I had the drone up for five seconds and then I don't know what happened but it played up so I landed and then Milan's like hook the big fish, I've hooked the big fish, I've hooked the big fish. It's in the bottom. You're gonna get owned in the bottom you mean. No no, it looks out. I'm gonna get these out of the way so I can run around the boat. Got gear everywhere as per normal. Yeah, yeah, you love having gear everywhere, don't you? Just watch out for the drone. The drone's upside down on the front of the boat. I think I better put this away before it gets wrecked. Yeah, everybody's praying for a big snapper. When I say everybody, I mean me. Leland's praying for a big kingfish. God, that rod's fully buckled over, man. Big shark on the kingfish. Yeah. Oh, a little tope's trying to eat him. It's not a bad kingy for the little bait rod, man. I reckon it was a pretty good kingy for the bait rod. <laughs> nice, Milan. That's a good fish for that little, that little what bait caster reel. 
<laughs> Plucked it out of the Burley Trail. When the Burley Trail's only been in the water like what five minutes? Not even that. Not even enough time to get the drone in the air. But all those Mau Mau up there, eh? Yeah. We we do want to feed for dinner, but it's our first day here, so it's a bit much for first night. Yeah. <laughs> I'd happily take a couple of those Mau Maus for dinner. <laughs> I had the drone over there looking at a seal, the drone's still in the air. And then Milan's like, I got a snapper! I got dinner! Check look, it out, boys! For a dinner fish. The boys are gonna eat good tonight! <laughs> Alrighty then! <laughs> nice work, Milan. Oh, I like the look of that. So far, I've caught kawai, kingfish. And I just got smoked before by something big, so I put the big gear on because I reckon there's some really big one of these down there. Look how fat the thing is. It's like a handful <laughs> of my hand. <laughs> Yummy. Right, I better get the drone. Ah, oh, it's all action today. I think you better put the drone down. <laughs> Milan literally caught that last snapper, then done a quick release by, well, accidental release. Uh, I don't know why I let it go. That was our dinner. Then I was trying to, trying to land the drone. I was like, oh, I'll film a cast with the drone. And then I'm trying to land the drone <laughs> after <laughs> Milan cast, and he reckons he's hooked the monster! I think it's a solid fish. It's a I see it. It's a big red. It's a I big see red. It. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the really bad. Oh, don't you lose him. Don't you lose him. He's kicking water at us. <laughs> I hooked him on the really bad. I had to get my hand around his tail, NATO. <laughs> Look how fat it is. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Man, the snapper fishing is good. <laughs> Every bait that goes down just gets inhaled. Oh, and I got smoked by a real big one. I thought it was a shark, but I reckon it was a big one of those because that's a stonking fish. Oh, that is massive, Look at the dude. Fatness. <laughs> I thought the last one was fat. Check out that. It's a little bit of bloating though, isn't it? Nah. It's, it's only just shallow fat. water. It's just fat, bro. Alright, man, I got your photo. Kick, wow. mate. He's out of here. Oh, now the current's gone. Got to admit to being a little bit jealous now. That was a river of a snapper. <laughs> well, there goes another bait. <laughs> Well, I may as well keep on fishing while they're here. I've got to get some more burley in the water. Yeah. Second burley's about to go in. Oh, and the snapper fishing's that good. He's got to keep the burley going, but I think it's gone into slack water. Slack water's a great time for big monsters to turn up. This looks serious. Massive bait. Massive bait. Wait, wait, wait I missed it. Wait, wait. <laughs> I was like, wait for me, wait for me. <laughs> Too late. Oh, what do you got now? Another big snapper, I think. You reckon? That looks more like a taupe. Big dead weight, man. Taupe. <laughs> Milan's getting the run around. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. 
<laughs> Hang on to him, Milan. <laughs> oh. Milan uses 15 kilo mono to fish for snapper. And you think, oh yeah, 15 kilos, it's quite grunty. But when you try and break it, like when you hook the bottom or when you hook up to what you think's a tope and you just start heaving on it, 15 kilo line is incredibly strong. I think it's all the stretch, eh? It's fantastic fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Snappers and kingfish and kawai and mau mau. We've been here 30 seconds. Look at all the mau mau on the surface. Oh, you can't see it with that lens. What are you doing, man? Just getting railed. <laughs> Just getting railed. Lateral line styles. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out, there's only like one eye of the rod out of the water. <laughs> it could be a kingy, I reckon. Could be. Oh, shake. Oh, oh you got shark. done. Yeah, now it's a shark that it busts oh, you off. <laughs> what do you got? Went through my hook. Oh. Yeah, Look at them. All serrated, man. All serrated. Look at the Mau Mau. There is a ridiculous amount of Mau Mau here. We should be catching a couple of those and taking them to eat the men. There is oodles of them. Okay, out of my way, I need to get in the cabin. <laughs> need another hook. You need you Look, need more than another hook, boy. That's the best session ever. <laughs> Milan's re-rigged. Another big dirty kawaii bait. Mighty kawaii. The big kawaii circle bait. <laughs> See you later, kawaii. That's gonna produce something massive. Milan's starting to talk it up. He's hoping for a 25 pounder. <laughs> well, we've got good baits, we've got good current, we've got good. Look at the bait, the water. Yeah, I can't get over the Mau Mau's, man. It's crazy. Well, I mean, I can, it's awesome, but having plagues of them at the back of the boat. Oh, this looks interesting. You can tell by the body language. Something's about to happen. Ooh. <laughs> Tug of war with them. Testing, testing. Oh, is that gonna go? Oh, look at this, he's ready to strike. Ready, ready. Hold, hold, sit. Got him, you got him, Marlon. Man, that looks big. <laughs> I think we've got another tope. I think we've got a big snapper. You reckon it's a big snapper? Yeah. Nah, it's a tope, man. Nah, it's a big snapper. You reckon? Positive thought. Positive thought. Well, I'm hoping for a big snapper, but looking at the rod. Dude. I was having a good snapper session before you guys turned up. <laughs> yeah, that is usually the end of your snapper session. <laughs> oh man I think if you put another bait in you're just going to catch another tope eh? the trip is off to an amazing start it is smiles all around Milan's caught two snapper the first one we were going to have for dinner but he dropped it back in the water by accident but he dropped it back in the water second one we didn't want to eat that we wanted to let it go and then he's caught two topes and from my experience once you start catching tope you're just going to keep catching tope and I don't like leaving hooks and things needlessly. So Milan is on dinner duty. We want, what, four? Four Mau Mau. Four blue Mau Mau's, stick them in the chili bin, and then Milan's going on a big kingy hunt. Have you finally got yep. one? Oh. <laughs> Look at all the kingies in the water! Oh. Dude, that was nuts! <laughs> I gotta get down the back, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see! <laughs> Holy shit balls! <laughs> Look at all the kingies 
Holy there. marshmallow Look balls. Balls. I just went down the back Look to get the... away from you. Oh. It's there was like some pretty serious surface action then. 30 or 40 fish came up then with that one. <laughs> I think NATO might be getting his fly rod out when Meeland gets sore arms. Hey! <laughs> Joys are catching the smaller fish, hey? Just pull the hooks out in the water. Well, easy for the cameraman to say, because all he's got to do is operate a phone. Gone! Next! <laughs> Let's see if we can find that big one, because that was That huge. was a big fish, man. <laughs> Just changing over to a new lure. See if I can keep the small ones off it. Pink is my favourite colour. That's Milan's new song. Next drift. Nice just drifting with the breeze. Oh, he's on a, a, a big fish. Big Good fish. fish. Oh, <laughs> I pulled the hooks. Him. That is coming yeah, out fast. He's still got him. Is that a good one, you reckon? Yeah. I need to change lens. <laughs> a little bit bigger. Oh, Just, a big shark balam. Oh, there is too. No, it's a big hey, it's kingy. A kingfish. It's a massive kingy yeah, It's balam. a huge kingy, that one. <laughs> it's a real big kingy balam. Real big kingfish under the one Milan just caught. There are some big ones here, man. Nice. Oh. Can you catch a big one, man? Okay. You know how much I'd love to catch that on my fly rod? Yep. <laughs> Might get your fly rod out, mate. Milan got sick of playing with the little fish. Back to big fish country. See all the carways up on the surface and amongst the birds. That's our bait. <laughs> We're back over to that little island group with that massive kawaii in tow and the water has just gone red, red with krill. You won't be able to see it with my phone, I can hardly see it with my um, naked eyes with my glasses on, I can see the, the change of colour in the water but I'll grab the GoPro and chuck that in the water and I'm pretty sure, given the fact that it's just teeming with krill here at the moment, that the GoPro should be able to see something. We're a bit all over the place at the moment. We are back where all the little kingies were and we've got that huge live bait in tow. We did see some big fish here but there were so many little ones that they were going to be really hard to catch. So maybe the big live bait will get eaten by a really big kingfish here. If it doesn't, then I think that's going to be our day. We'll be headed in, turning Mau Mau into dinner, going to sleep and getting ready for tomorrow. Well that's it, we're gonna call it a day and what a day it was. Heap of kingfish, Milan got a real big snapper. It was just awesome, scenery is beautiful. A little bit upset with this kind of cloudy, murky look about the place. I couldn't get any real beautiful shots but it's stunning nonetheless. We're gonna get ourselves back to the ramp, boat back on the trailer 
A very good friend of Milan's has offered us a room with his parents so we're headed back there staying the night and then we'll be up early tomorrow and back at it. I know that Milan is real keen to hunt down a big kingfish as always and I'll be looking to put a few snapper in the chili bin to take home. So yeah, here we go! No one was too keen to get out of bed this morning and I think that is mostly because the fishing yesterday afternoon was just so, so good that we don't feel the need to get out of bed early today to catch a fish. We have all day today and all day today we have a perfect weather forecast. Predict wind is saying very little wind for the day so the boys have all day. Milan is going to do his very best to achieve the goal he set for himself yesterday and that is catching a big kingfish. And yes, Milan's caught lots of big kingies but that's what he loves to do and I'm all for it. At the moment we're just putting around in the bay here just trying to pick up a few live baits. So yeah, beautiful forecast for the day. Milan wants to catch a big kingfish. Once he has achieved that, who knows what will happen next. Gone. Oh, that was well rewarded. commercial boat and it's got twin 300 Suzuki's on the back of it. Listen to it. Holy that thing is hauling man. <laughs> oh there's a huge sunfish. Humongous sunfish. Can't see him. Wind, wind your livey up. There's massive kingies right here. Massive ones. I just watched a sunfish swim past the boat and I reckon there's huge kingies following the sunfish and our Milan's live bait's down deep so I'm guessing they haven't seen it because they could easily hit it that was a 30 plus kilo fish man they're on it, I can see one right behind it Oh, there's packs of kingies here. Look at the size of that thing, Milan. Yeah. I don't think my phone can see oh, any of it. The size of it. Are they going to eat it or what? I'm going to get my stick bait sorted because they'll eat a stick bait. A big fish, man. Look, he's on it. 
Huge fish. Oh, look at them. Look at the size of those ones. Oh, I need to get my polarized lens on my phone. Are they going to eat that car one? They have to eat it. There's too many fish there not to eat it. That pack mentality, man. Trying to beat each other. Oh, Milan, that's a 40 kegger. Is it? Holy crap. Have you got a stick bait or something else? I'm trying to get my gear ready. Dude, it's, this is nuts. Can Those I grab are the... your rod? Pardon? Can I grab your rod? Oh, <laughs> brother, you didn't. Well, it's rigged up, ready to go. Yeah, or well, you take the phone then, I'll have a go. Grab it, grab your gear out. Dude, those are huge fish, man. Well, grab your phone out. Grab your thing out. Yeah, I'm, go oh, I'm going. Gonna eat it. Are they going to eat it? Massive kingies. Huge kingies. Ridiculously big kingies. Get rid of those. They're just at the back of the boat, bro. Oh, look at them. They're just I'm right shaking. there. I'm shaking, yeah, they're just man. right there, bro. Did they even look at it? No. Nah. Cast that way. Big pack of fish on my stick bait now. Oh, they are too. Big pack of fish, bro. Oh, he ate it. I got him. Hopefully it was the monster in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cameraman does it again. <laughs> I was just real lucky that I had a rod rigged up ready to go under the dash and Milan didn't. <laughs> We found them though, Nathan. There were huge fish there, man. Yeah. I seen the sunfish swim past the boat and I was like, oh no, nah, that fish I'm looking at. That's big, man. <laughs> Did you just see the explosion in the water? Yeah, he's, he's foul hooked, I think. Now back up. I've just got that live out, so we're just moving forward still. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, you reckon you foul hooked it? Yeah. That doesn't mean he does <laughs> He's not big because he's fighting, dude. I hope it's big. <laughs> I hope it's big. You're making a lot of noise for a little one. <laughs> I hope there's no sharks around. There's no way I'm getting this fish up fast. Oh, I'm the Minn Kota. <laughs> I think it's a good one. Oh, there he is. I can see him. Here he comes. He's hooked in the face, bro. It better be a big one, otherwise you're not kingy fit. It's a nice kingfish, bro. It's the biggest of the trip so far. You deserve that fish, I'll give you that. Oh, bro. It's a kegger, mate. If you're gonna catch one, catch a big one, Nato says. Oh, brother, that's a monster. And I want you up the front of the boat. Oh. Hold him. Sorry, Bobber. Oh, dude. That's a good one, eh? Dude, I can understand why you're getting smashed now. <laughs> it's a big one, me. Big one, alright. <laughs> up the front, up the front of the boat. Holy shamolies, brother. I can't even say shit, but I can say holy shamolies. Kneel down, brother, kneel down. Whoa. What a fish. That's a fish Milan wanted to catch today, but I'm pretty happy that NATO caught it. <laughs> I'm glad it's big because man, it was a hard fight. Oh, it's solid, bro. Quick photo, brother, and we'll get him back. I was filming the whole time anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, go, Mr. Brother. Kingfish. Whoa. That was insanely cool. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Congratulations, brother. That was one massive monster. Oh, <sighs> I am literally still puffing after catching that fish. That is so very, very cool. 
It is definitely me, Lance Dude. I don't even know if I want to be throwing my stick bait around in case I hook another one of those. I'm already half beat up. That big snapper and that big kingfish is all we came down for. NATO got it. Doesn't although, matter. Doesn't matter who gets it. I was just going to say, although, I know who would rather catch the big snapper and I know who would rather <laughs> catch the big kingfish. <laughs> That's what happens when you go fishing under the mountain. <laughs> the land of giants. These days we go fishing and myself and Milan, all we want to do is get a feed. That, that's the goal and if we get that we're over the moon and happy. But of course we both love catching the big fish and then being able to let them go and then just enjoy everything about it. So mission accomplished. So what I'm going to do is probably stop this video right here and right now because start, middle and end has been done. and. Um, if anything crazy happens from here for the rest of the day and tomorrow, and I'm guessing there's going to be some crazy stuff happening going on what we've seen, and you'll be seeing that crazy action right now, but this show is to be continued. Thank you all so very much for watching The Lateral Line. We are loving our time out on the water, and I really enjoy making the shows. Once again, The Lateral Line is completely filmed, edited and uploaded to YouTube with just an iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, you can go and do what we're doing and have as much fun as we are. So get into it, my brothers. I also want to add that myself and Milan, well, myself mainly, I want to start putting more personality into the lateral line. So at the end of the lateral line, I want to put in... Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, there's all the kings. <laughs> Did you get him? Yeah, little one though. <laughs> Can't even pull string. Can't even pull string. <laughs> oh, You're gonna get owned on that little fish, man. <laughs> there is a big, big pack of real big hungry fish here. Yeah, there's heaps of big fish under the boat. Look at this. These are all individual marks from individual fish and look at the size of them. You can literally distinguish that those two fish in the middle right there. They're the biggest ones of the pack. I just fell off. Just fell off? Fell off. Oh, there's only a little one anyway. He's been eating squid. Check out that. I got a bit of squid. Big bit of squid. Oh. Well, we know what they're feeding on. Find the squid, man. <laughs> the lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants.